Hello everyone, this is Sharif. Today I'll be showing you how to put a virtual box virtual machine into GNS and use it so that you can use the virtual machine like uh, Windows XP or Linux and uh, use it for instance like uh, network management server or NMS. So uh, the steps are pretty easy actually. First you need to download uh, VirtualBox. It's from virtualbox.org I guess. And you go to the download section and you choose what's right for you if you're using Linux or uh, Mac and this one is for Windows. Just make sure you download the uh, latest one because usually they have uh, bug fixes and stuff like that. So after downloading it, you install it normally, nothing funny, and then you create a virtual machine. I'll make another tutorial on how to create a virtual machine. Then you open GNS and you go to Edit, Preferences, then VirtualBox, VirtualBox Guest. Now here you have some options. The identifier is you can call it whatever you want to call it. Let's say call it Windows XP. And here is the number of network interface card or NX that you're going to put on the virtual machine. Um, from my experience, the minimum number of interfaces you'll have to use is two because there is always one that is used for uh, maybe some internal communication so that the virtual machine can uh, uh, pass like traffic uh, from and to Windows, something that's, um, I don't actually know what it is, but there is always one interface that you can't use, and the other one you can actually hook up to a virtual router in a GNS or something. Okay, so uh, uh, make sure that the number of NICs is at least two, so that you can, you don't have to uh, do the lab all over again or remove it and put another one. And the VM list here, when you press the VM list, you won't find anything. Just press refresh VM list, then you'll find the one that is actually opened in um, the virtual box manager. You have to have a virtual machine put in in the in virtual box. It's like you can't remove it and have the source on your hard drive. It has to be opened by VirtualBox, or at least it is registered as a virtual machine in your uh, VirtualBox manager. So let's choose WinXP clone. This is the name in the VirtualBox. Okay, the identifier, as I said before, you can call it anything you want, and hit save. Now GNS knows that VirtualBox has a virtual machine called WinXP. So, what's the catch here? If you're going to use two virtual box machines, you can't use the same virtual machine. You have to have two different virtual machines installed in your virtual box manager. It's not like it's a single image that GNS can uh, clone, or uh, clone, uh, clone them like a ghost image that it uses to uh, simulate routers. This is different. You have to have each virtual machine for every machine you're going to drop in GNS. And you hit apply, then OK. Now let's put um, virtual box guest here and it's called WinXP automatically. If you have to, it's going to pop up a drop down menu and show you two machines. And you can choose which machine do you want. You can use like one for Linux and one for Windows and we're going to get a uh, router here so that we can test uh, if it's working or not. Okay. Um, one last thing, you have to have at least two NICs, as I said. You have to have two NICs because one is used for the internet communication with Windows, something like that. Uh, host only interface and the other one will be used to hook it up to a router or switch in your topology.
now let's hit play as you can see VM uh, virtual box here has popped up a window for Windows here and let's connect to the router here okay I'm going to do this manually okay here's our GNS router and for the interfaces you can configure an interface here I configured the interface that is working with GNS, not the other one, with 200.0.0.1 and a subnet mask of slash 24. And here I'm going to configure the other interface with 200.0.0.2 and a slash 24 mask. Let's unshut this interface. Okay, now we're good. I'm going to ping the Windows machine. Voila, and it's working. So as you can see, the Windows here, you can install many uh, software like a network management server, or you can just um, install whatever you like. Like an, I installed here an FTP server so that I can actually test FTP actual FTP traffic between a Windows machine and another one in my topology of course I'm going to show you this in uh, in later uh, tutorials but um, one big uh, benefit of this is that you can actually try multicast traffic passing by using VLC I put two virtual machines and through those two virtual machines I stream media files and you can actually see uh, multicast trees being formed for this flow to go by of course it, 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 the CPU is sky high when I do this but it's a very good example to actually test multi uh, uh, multicast and to test SNMP to test um, logging uh, you can do many many things that we're going to show you in uh, uh, next tutorials. I hope you like that and if you like that just subscribe in the bottom below and hit a like and thank you so much. Bye.